Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, keep us. Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad? And welcome back to it again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail today, we will be installing, well, at least starting the installation process. Um, if this goes on as a two-day period, you feel me? It'll all be in the same vlog. But for me, you know what I'm saying? We are starting the installation process for the AEM wideband. Um, with that being said, man, I've already got the car parked up. About to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is take off the sound tube, delete, um, and see if I can get like a tree size drill, which is like a step drill, and drill a nice little hole that I can run the wires through for the wideband. Um, that way I can run the wires through the firewall and not have an issue and then we'll go ahead and start mounting the positive and negative for the AEM and we'll just go from there. So with that being said man, if you haven't already, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button because today marks the first day of getting Vader just 100% dialed in and ready to make that 10 second pass down the quarter mile. So with that being said man, I'm going to go ahead and grab a 10 millimeter socket. Got that boy back, back to, to the, the money. money. Right. Goddamn, he's yeah, having some. Bro. He's having some interesting luck with with goddamn Deceptitron right now. But 2.0. <laughs> but with that being said, what I'm finna do is I'm finna go ahead and get this sound delete taken off the car, and we'll go from there, man. All right, y'all. So sitting behind this line for my flex fuel kit <laughs> is the sound tube delete this little block off plate right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take off that 10 millimeter bolt, take this off. I finally got this joint out. What the goal is, is to try to put a hole right through the center since it has this foam covering right here. This little pad. Hopefully I can put a hole straight through the center and run the wires through that. All right, you guys, just a little bit of an update. As you guys can see, I made two kind of similar size holes that way there's literally two different wires that have to run through this so i just made two separate holes hopefully they're big enough um to run the wires through i'm about to double check again and make sure but if they are we can go ahead and start routing our wires the power the ground and then also the one that runs behind the block itself along the firewall to connect to the o2 sensor that's provided by aem so with that being said gonna go ahead and test with these joints and we're just gonna keep going this is actually day two of this vlog so just gonna keep running through it man all right y'all so moving to the interior now we're gonna go ahead and start dismantling the basically the cluster man you know what I'm saying so yeah so first and foremost I gotta pop this off back to me man Yo, yo, what up, gang? If you haven't already, go tap in. The boy just got his whip back, you know what I'm saying? He's back done with all that, all that truck driving bullshit. Anyway. Hey, it's still coming. What up? Anyway, so, like I was saying, we're going to go ahead and start by taking apart this cluster right here. It's just a couple of clips, man. Just be careful. Um, you're going to go ahead and take that out, and then you'll be able to take out the defroster vent. Um, and that's only if you guys have this gauge part right here. Again, shout out my boy, Tensky Creed. Well... Shout out my boy Creed, you feel me, um, for hooking your boy up. But basically, it's going to sit just like that with the gauge pod in there. And, um, yeah, so with that being said, I got all the wires ran through the firewall right now. We're going to go ahead and start dismantling pieces. I got to, you know, disconnect the you battery right now. You're full-blown race car mode, and, uh, huh? Yeah. You, you're full-blown race car, like. At, at this point, we're getting there. All right, I see that. Get this joint taken care of, but let me go ahead and disconnect the battery real quick and uh, we'll get to going. All right, y'all, so I had to catch myself. I was moving a little fast, but legit, like I said, you're just going to pull up on this panel right here. Chevy, so it's a whole bunch of clips. 
But once you finally get it out the way, you'll be able to kind of finagle, get like an interior popper or a flathead in there and kind of, you know, just work your way. Be careful not to break anything, but kind of work your way upwards and you'll be able to get this joint out. Um, and then we can start, you know, passing the wires through the dash and getting them up here. Now, I'm not going to lie, it's definitely going to be a pain in the butt, but we'll get her done. No cap. All right, y'all. So this little son of a gun right here is not the easiest thing to get off, but it's doable. What I found easiest to do was grab a small flathead, stick it in between the vent itself and kind of lift up and then grab another flathead and pry up from the bottom and you'll be able to get it out. Also, you do need to take this panel off too. Same thing with this one, you just pull on it, it has some clips and it pops off. And now we're here. Now that we're here, I've already ran the wires through the firewall. Now all I have to do is grab them from the footwell and pass them through. And then we can go ahead and insert our gauge pod. It's gonna sit like this right here. Know what I'm saying? And the gauge will sit right there. So that being said, let's let's keep going. We're almost done, man. And then we just gotta get the car in the air install the O2 sensor that they provide, man. Hook everything up and we should be good to go. All right, you guys, so as y'all can see, we got Vader running right now. Like I said, this is gonna be the stopping point of the day, man. Just got everything. AWE going crazy, man. Shout out AWE, newest channel sponsor, man. I love y'all, no cap. But as y'all can see, got everything buttoned up back there, man. And coming inside the car, can't get copyrighted, but you guys see that gauge is on there, man. So basically, we got everything buttoned up. This right here is the power and the negative wire. And then this right here is the connector to the O2 sensor that they provided. Um, so basically I have both of them zip tied out of the way just so I'll be able to drive home today. Um, tomorrow, you're gonna pick up where I left off. I'm actually gonna have to raise the car up in the air and install the O2 sensor that they provide. Go ahead and connect that, then connect the power and the negative cables and turn the car on and we should be able to read AFR, we should be able to read ethanol content and everything else that the AEM gauge provides. So with that being said, man, we are one step closer. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna end this video here, but if I do, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and um yeah man if it's over here then i'll see you guys in the next one let's go ahead and roll that outro